Now, one of the new Huskies who you won't see on the field this season, but he's just as welcome as everybody else, is Trey Bell. He'll be wearing number four. He is a transfer from Vanderbilt. Welcome to UConn. Uh, what's this day like for you? Obviously, uh, you're here. You're part of the uh, Husky family. You get to see all these high school players sign for UConn. What's this day like for Trey Bell? Uh, man, it's a great day. Just get a chance to start something new, uh, be, a be a part of a great culture. So. You know, I'm excited, I'm ready to get things rolling. Uh, you know, workouts have been tough, but you know, it's just hard work. What was it, Trey, about UConn that attracted you to come here when you decided to, to leave Vandy? Well, um, I knew Coach Diaco when I was getting recruited out of high school. He recruited me at Notre Dame. So when I seen that he took the UConn job, I was very excited for him. Um, so when I took a visit here, you know, I already knew what Coach Diaco was about. I knew how he trains his guys, how he has his guys thinking. Now, cornerback, and obviously UConn's got a great tradition of cornerback histories, guys in the league, uh, Dwayne Gratz, Bleedy Ray Wilson, people like that. Um, was that part of the attraction, too, as well, knowing the history here that UConn gets players in the NFL? Yes. Uh, I took a visit to UConn a couple years ago, and Gratz and Wilson were here. Uh, I previously seen Wilson this past training camp in Tennessee. Right. Um, I looked up the Gratz uh, when I was growing up. He, was, uh, he went to Piscataway High School. I'm a Jersey guy as well. so Right, St. Peter's Prep. Yep, so those are the things that definitely attract me as well. What have the, what have the off season workouts been like so far with Coach Bayless and the strength staff? Just pushing you past your limits. Uh, they expect nothing but greatness, and uh, that's, they're expecting everything you do. So that's something that I've definitely been working on, and the coaches have doing, uh, are doing a great job helping me with that. How important is it for you, Trey, to make a good impression this year when you're not able to play in games? working hard with the look team, giving that first team offense the best possible vision of what the opponents is trying to do. I just want to be a great teammate to these guys. I just want the best for this team. I want to win, uh, go, go undefeated, go to a bowl game, just, just achieve success with this team. So when it's time for me to step in, you know, I want everything to be the same thing. I want guys to push me as hard as I'm going to push them. No, he's not really Trey Bell. He's Marlon. Traquan Bell, but we're going to call you Trey in your UConn career. Marion, Marion. Marion, I'm sorry. Yes. I read it wrong. It's Marion. Yeah. It's what happens when you get to be my age. As a cornerback, you have to have better eyesight. He's Trey Bell to us. He'll be wearing number four for UConn, and he'll be eligible in the 2017 season. Trey, welcome to the family. Nice Thank to you. meet you.